spear is stronger now. The cult won't stand a chance. Well, Herodotus will be happy. It's clear someone was here far before we were. Did Leonidas know this place existed? You're not hard to track. Did you come alone? Are you all right? <laughs> Alexios, you're alive. Don't touch me. <laughs> come on, little brother. You have to tell me everything. What's happened to you? I don't have to tell you anything. I don't know you. Well, I know you. It doesn't matter. There's more important things to argue about. You're right. Like that stunt you pulled with the artifact. It got my attention, if that's what you wanted. What? The artifact showed the truth. We're family. And we made it out of Sparta alive. <laughs> yes, it did show the truth. It confirmed what I always knew. You threw me off a fucking mountain! <laughs> if that's what you think, Alexios, you must have hit your head on the way down. I've heard this story, and not from a liar like you. And never call me Alexios. Right. Demos. Now him, I don't know. He's a demigod. Worshipped and feared by the cult and all the Greek world. Sounds like a fantasy to me. Did the cult cook that story up too? I'd watch your fucking mouth, or I'll shut it for you. You didn't when you had the chance before, and I bet you won't now. This is stupid. We need to find our mother. I'm not interested in reunion. I just want to know what you think you're doing. Same thing as your cult. Looking for Mirini, our mother. They don't need her. Your cultists think differently. She's their next target. If they ever pursued her, it would be to kill her. But if you don't know where she is, that means she abandoned you too. How sad. Even if we were abandoned, we survived. We can go back to the way things were if we can find her. The cult has no interest in sentimentality or family. Its only aim is control. If it's true they're after us, tell them they'll never find Nikolaos. He's off the map. Trust me, I've searched myself. If I could find you, the other long-lost child of Nikolaos, then I can find him. And when I do, he'll wish he was thrown off that mountain. I don't care what you think. I'll find Mirini. Do the right thing. Come with me. What? We could find her. Together. You could help me. <laughs> oh, you think friendship is the answer? Running around like lost children looking for dear mother. You're so weak. It's responsibility, not weakness. I won't abandon the whole family just for spite. Responsibility? Get off your high horse! The cult has a plan, and it won't be interrupted by the likes of you. Taking your own mother isn't enough for them? We're not abductors. We're political. Those who don't stand with us, stand against us. And they pay for that mistake. Like me. Like you. I heard you're planning a trip to Athens. When you go, tell Pericles and his elitist scum they're next. The cult let Mirini live. They let Nikolaos live. Why kill them now? Because you live. You brought this on her and yourself. The cult is powerful, but they're mortals. I have the blood of gods, so they think you do too. But they'll see how wrong they are. I'm going after the cult, you know. You've seen our numbers. You've seen what I can do. 
And you still think you stand a chance? Try me. So having guts runs in the family, does it? <laughs> you claim we have the same blood. So let's see what you can do. We still found each other, brother. I told you not to touch me. Demos! Ugh. Malaka. Herodotus won't believe this. I have to tell him what happened. Well, was the legend true? Was it magnificent? What happened to you? And your spear? Slow down, Herodotus. My spear's stronger now. I can feel it. You were right, there was some kind of artifact there. It showed me a vision. Of me and my mother. So... The ancient civilization is real. Cassandra, you have no idea the power you possess. All harnessed in Leonidas' spear. That's not everything. Demos followed me here. The cult's already moving, he told me himself. They're going after us. My family, Pericles... Why would he tell you? Unless it was a trap. It doesn't matter. We have to get to Athens to warn Pericles. And we need to find my mother before they do. Then, we go to the Penix. If Pericles is anywhere, he's there. When you're ready, meet me at the Penix in Athens. We must come together now for the glory of Athens! Glory for you! <laughs> Friend, friends, please! Just because the Spartans are near our walls does not mean we can act like them! A good crop! Shame the Spartans burned the fields where it grew! The Parthenon is glorious, Pericles, but at what cost? How many tree rams could we have built instead? We must not become divided! We are divided, and the Spartans are winning! Act, Pericles, or I will! Oh, good. You came. Things are worse than I feared. Cleon has turned the mob. We have to hurry. Where? To Pericles. Stay back! She is no threat to Pericles. I assure you. Ah, Herodotus. It's fine. Let them through. It's good to see you again, Pericles. And you as well. I only wish it were under better circumstances. And who's this? Cassandra. Welcome, Cassandra. And what did you think of your first taste of Athens? I think you and Cleon both made good points. Good points aren't at all what the crowd seem to care about. They're afraid. Cleon indulged their fear. Pericles, we've come to... We must choose our moment wisely, and speak our words more privately. Fine. We've come to you on urgent business. As does everybody. I may have told Cassandra you'd invite her to your symposium. You'd ask me to exclude every Athenian and invite an outsider instead. You heard the crowd. They don't need another reason to hate me. If she's working for you, maybe the prying eyes will see her as a servant. I'm no one's servant. Cassandra, this is Athens. If you want something, sometimes you have to play a role. And what exactly is it that you want? I'm looking for a woman who's very important to me. Herodotus said a symposium could be useful for gaining information. He would be correct. 
I can get you in, although I can't promise the information you seek will be found. Just tell me what to do. First, check on my colleague, Mediojos. He was meant to meet me today, and it's not like him to miss an appointment. Done. My friend, Phidias, needs to be taken out of Athens as soon as possible. Anything else? Yes. There is an ostracism vote taking place that could use your... Uh, influence. Meteochos. You said he was your colleague? A politician and ally. He's one of my most loyal friends. Pythias? The famous sculptor? What did he do, exactly? He stands accused of multiple offenses and is awaiting trial. You'll find him under close guard at his workshop. Ostracism? Exile is a term you may be more familiar with. Here in Athens, we vote between two people to decide who should leave. It's between the sophist, Anaxagoras, and another man on trial for impiety. My contact near the Agora will give you the details. I'll do it. I'll expect you to use discretion. That went well. It isn't exactly an invitation, but the promise of one is just as good. Although I'm sure he'll still ask Aspasia if it's okay. So long as it comes. Blessed be the god that sent you here. I'd have been eaten alive if it weren't for you. I don't think they'd eat you. But they would have certainly killed me. So thank you. My life-saving services aren't free. Of course. Pericles sent me. He was worried about you. You often get tied up and surrounded by snakes. How can you joke about this? Thugs broke into my home, dragged me here, tied me up and surrounded me with these hideous creatures. They must be stopped. The snakes? The thugs! Why would anyone do this? Politicians are easy targets in these troubled times. When they tied me up, they said I was a snake. That I should die by my own kind. Did you recognize the people who did this? Pericles asked me to go down to the fishing district and talk with the poor and sick to give them hope. That's how I recognized their voices. Oh, yes? They threw rotten food and yelled insults at me. These thugs disguised their faces, but their voices and the stench of fish were unmistakable. Where should I look? I couldn't see their faces, but I recognized their voices from one of the districts I visited. Their regulars at Cleon's rallies. They live in the flooded part of the city, near the wall. I'll track them down, Metiochos. Don't worry. Tensions are high right now. At this rate, we'll tear each other apart within the city before the Spartans can breach the walls. The part of Athens I doubt Pericles is proud to talk about. There has to be a clue around here somewhere. ones that were meant to kill Metiochos. Snake bites. And someone hit 
the body. Though I have a feeling this death was an accident. Less competition and more drug to me for me. It looks like the thugs who attacked Meteochos weren't the masterminds behind this plot. This must be the house of Meteochos' attackers. But the letter proves they're just tools in someone else's plan. Whose? What the fuck are you doing sniffing around my house? You attacked Meteochos. I found the snakes, the letter from your friend, and a body. All here. Ah, oh, poor Actis. We all knew the risks. Chains don't happen without a bit of blood being spilled. Why kill Meteochos with snakes? We're prisoners in our own city. Because of Pericles and his crooked friends. The snake dealer told us it's time to send a message. Time they suffered. You can't take the law into your own hands. Now I need to decide what to do with you. Cleon says it's time we took the city back from the elite. Time to fight. Don't matter what you do to us, there will be others who follow our lead. I know someone gave you those snakes. They used you to do their dirty work. I want to know who. He's a real hero of Athens. No puppet of Pericles is going to stop him. Don't be someone's puppet. Tell me where the snake dealer is. All right, all right. He's got a camp just outside the walls. Sells his snakes from there. It's not too late to make a difference, but we have to work together. Maybe you're right. You didn't have to show us mercy. But where do we start? Start here. This district is your home. Ignore the politicians and concentrate on where you can make change. Thank you. We will try. I need to rid Athens of this snake seller. Why are you here? Leave. I'll end you, Mistyos. You can... His death should keep friends of Pericles safe. Looks like your situation's improved since we last met. The danger has passed for now. But while those monsters are out there, no one is safe. A group of fishermen tied you up. They were being used by a snake dealer working for enemies of Athens. What did you do with them? I showed them the error of their ways and sent them on their way. They won't be bothering you again. I'm glad no blood was shed. But how do you know they won't return? I made it very clear that doing anything stupid would make me angry. Well, that must have been a terrifying experience for them. Thank you for your help, Mistios. I'll be sure to mention this to Pericles. Stop. I can't let you go any further. It isn't often you see a guard outside of an artist's workshop. I just do what I'm told, stranger. And until I'm told otherwise, no one is going in or out. Stand aside. This is important. So is keeping people out. Maybe you can see Phidias after his trial, if the people spare his life. It's been so long since Phidias and I have seen each other. You understand. Don't you? Oh! Oh, come to pay him a last visit before the trial. He's as good as dead, you know. Better make this one count. Just don't tell anyone I was here. Sure, sure. Keep it moving. Sorry about that. How did you get past the guard? No one gets past the guard. Relax. Pericles sent me. Ah, praise Athena. I knew he'd send help. 
I was worried they sent someone after me. They? Who? The shadows in the night. Why you fear falling asleep? They're hunting me, us. No one is safe in Athens anymore. The cult of Cosmos. You know about them. Of course I know about the cult. Here, look at this. These are instructions. On how to kill me. But they've been torn. Then Pericles isn't just getting you out of Athens to save you from the trial. He's saving you from being murdered. I don't know who to trust. I'm just an artist. I just wanted to create. Please, what am I to do? First, you need to pull yourself together. You're on trial, the people are against you, and now I find that the cult want to kill you. Uh... I said pull yourself together! Yes, of course. Cleon said you're wasting the people's drachmi. If he had his way, he'd serve them your head. Cleon mentioned me? That's going to hurt Pericles. First impiety, now theft. After all we've done for this city. You and Pericles seem close. For Pericles and me, it started with our love of Athens. Our differences push us to greatness. That is true friendship. All right, we need to go. Do you have any idea where I can take you? South of Athens, there's an island called Seriphos. My friend Theras lives there. When I discovered the plot against me, I sent word to him. If anyone can help us, he can. Any clues he has of the cultists' identities, I want them. Yes, yes, anything. A guard! I'll distract them while you sneak out. Meet me tonight to set sail for Seriphos. Don't show your face until you see me at the docks. I understand. You didn't really think I'd let you come and go as you please, did you? Now, where are you? Good. You made it. I was beginning to worry. I told you I'd get you out of Athens. So you did. Can your friend be trusted? Theras and I have been friends for a long time. I just sent word telling him where to meet us. Wasting time will only get us into trouble. Let's head to Seriphos while we still can. This is a nice ship. You don't have to do that. Do what? Fill the silence. Oh, I wasn't trying to do that at all. Be free. Yes, free seems to be a good one. Why do we come to feel a bit sick? Lean over the side if you need to. Otherwise, you're dreaming. Is your stomach turning as much as mine is? We'll get used to it. We'll reach Seriphus before long. It's good to see you alive and well, Phidias. And you, Theras. As you can see, I didn't get here alone. Ah, yes. The kind and thoughtful hero you mentioned in your letter. I'm glad I could get him out alive. And for that heroism, I found some information on a man named Brisson who's plotting Phidias' early demise. Hopefully you can make something of this clue. I can. Please give Pericles my thanks and my farewell. And be careful. I still believe many in Athens are in danger. You must be the one Pericles sent. I am. He said there was an ostracism vote, but didn't tell me what I'm here to do. Of course he didn't. That's what I'm for. If someone is exiled, can they return? If they do, they'll be punished. What does someone have to do to be ostracized? 
anyone seen as a threat to the city or the people is enough. And then it is up to the vote. Some have been ostracized for simply being more disliked than the person they're up against. What's my role in this? The votes have already been cast. We don't have long before they're counted. Take the Ostraka in this bag and exchange them with the ones currently under guard. You want me to rig the ostracism? Pericles does, and he has his reasons, I'm sure. Bring me the bag you took from the room, and I'll take care of the rest. No one will see me go in or out. Stay here. There'll be trouble if I'm spotted here. Should do it. I should let Pericles' contact know. It's done. Hmm. You work quickly. What are you going to do with them? Dump them in a well. Ah, it looks like the official has arrived. The votes have been tallied. Overwhelmingly, the people have decided that Anaxagoras should be ostracized from Athens! Be slow to fall into friendship, but once you do, continue firm and constant. It will be more difficult for me now that Anaxagoras must leave Athens. We were quite close, although he and Pericles were much closer. It's strange, Pericles wasn't here today to defend him. Would Pericles normally defend someone? A good friend? Of course. Yet, Anaxagoras seems pleased with the result. This day has brought more questions than answers. You said you were close. He was like a mentor to me. Many of my best thoughts came to fruition through our conversations. Who are you? Ask anyone and they'll tell you Socrates. But a name gives you nothing. Our actions determine who we are, and every action has its pleasures and its price. With that said, then, who do you claim to be? My name is Cassandra. And still, I don't feel I know you. Perhaps I can find out who you are a different way. You want to know me? Knowledge is the one good in this world. Surely you agree? Of course. Knowledge drives everything I do. Then we are the same in that way. 
knowledge of when to attack, what weapon to use, or when to use reason instead of violence. We seem to put our love of knowledge into practice quite differently. I use it how I need to. You are clearly someone who would do whatever you feel is necessary. Perhaps for Drachmi, or maybe to further a personal goal. That describes a lot of people. I suppose I'm curious why you did it. How could I not be when you're the reason my friend is being forced to leave the only home he's ever known? I think you have the wrong person. You are claiming that you're the wrong person? Life's one true happiness is knowing yourself. Even if I did know who rigged the ostracism vote, I wouldn't tell you. And yet, I never said anyone rigged anything. Socrates, there you are. Here I am. You're late. They're all waiting for you. I wish to see Anaxagoras' fate, and so I have. Tell them I'm on my way. Well, it seemed our conversation is at its end. Although I hope it isn't the final one we have. I wouldn't know. That's everything Pericles wanted. Time to return to him and find out what these Athenians know about my mother. Cassandra, it's you! Phoebe! You said you weren't coming back to Kefalonia, so I decided to leave too. I said I wouldn't be coming back. But I don't remember saying you should leave. Well, here I am. How did you even get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some drachmi working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. Phoebe... I needed a drachmi for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby. But every once in a while, something feels familiar. It's nice. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry, I'll take care of them. You don't want to scare people in there. Well... How is it you're working for Aspasia? Well, I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia. We didn't know it was her, though. And you convinced her to hire you? No. She asked me on her own. That was lucky. I think I'm ready to go in. You can't! Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. I'll get changed. Promise you'll take care of my things? Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner, and I'll come back when you're done. I feel uncomfortable in this. Now you look like everyone else. You say that like it's a good thing. It is. If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust me. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. Here, Cassandra. The mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made her grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotus! Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. 
Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're no different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of their opinionated tongues. Ah, Sophocles and Everybidis, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, every Everypides. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of Sophocles. In my line of work, it pays to know who the richest and most famous men are. Hermippos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Protagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachus. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh. He never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates, always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time for jealousy, but for love. Let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good and don't drink too much. So, tell me, what does a Mystios like you think of a party like this? This party could be fun. Alcibiades drinks like a Spartan. Maybe he fights like one too. If I could suggest anything, please don't start a fight or end one. Thank you, Irodotus. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere, and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your brother said. Agreed. Pericles needs to know. I'll stay here and look for clues. I hope they know something about your mother. Me too. being hurt. Open this door or I'll kick it in! Oh, 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 oh don't mind her. She likes to watch. Ooh. Look at you. Such authority. Such aggression. I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? It sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door. 
wide, wide open for you. I only came to this symposium to find someone. Sounds like we can help each other then, doesn't it? You fetch us a bit of oil, I help you find who you're looking for. Maybe they're in here. She's not in there. I think I'll check all the same. After your display earlier, it's probably safer I get the oil. Obedient, too. I knew I liked you. Don't take too long. Just can't stay away, can you? Did you bring the oil? You've grown up in Pericles' home, and yet you're so... different. No one is like Pericles. And he's only slightly more serious than usual, too. Athens is under siege, and he worries for her future. Which is why tonight is a fine time to celebrate what may be our last taste of freedom. When you walked in, you seemed like you and Socrates were... How I wish you were right. One day we will have that man in here with us. I promise you that. I come bearing gifts. <gasps> we're saved! Today, these women grieved for their sons, and these men worked the wall. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to join us? Time for some fun. You'll have to help me strip off these uncomfortable Athenian robes. Gladly. If you like, we can feed them to the goat. There's another goat? <laughs> now, it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business, right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. The Athera? I've heard they play some sort of role in Corinth, but I assumed it was the same as any other city. Oh, no. These women are unlike any other you'll meet. A force, and the only ones there with any smarts. Ali! Come back inside! Ooh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anthusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Anthusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. Thank <laughs> you. 
I suppose you've come in here to mock me for my fight with Evripides. I've seen lots of fights. That wasn't one. <laughs> I really made a fool of myself this time, didn't I? I'm Sophocles, though I'm sure you knew that. And you are? I am looking for information that'll help me find someone. A Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. You could talk to Evripides. He's the second most worldly man here. That pediculous Xanthodontus exothalmic Morosov. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. You want to get Evripides drunk. Are you hoping he's gonna make an even bigger scene than you did? Ha! We both know that's not possible. But you're a feisty one, to say the least. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You'll need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when Evripides is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me, how does Pericles know you? I am the greatest dramatist in the land, mentor to every Pivis, lover of Asclepios, father of theater, and so on, and so on. I'm sure it's a real honor to have you hiding in his kitchen. You're awfully worked up over every Pivis. You sure you're just friends? I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess, every Pivis and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with a banal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. I'll get the one. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Save for that arrogant playwright. I don't see many distinguished guests in here. Can I help you with something? I'm here for your sweet wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. A new face in Pericles' abode! Ha! That in itself is a remarkable thing. You must have seen me doing my impression of Cleon. I call it the orange ape. Tell me, what does it think? I am called many things. It isn't one of them. What do you call yourself then? Creature of many names? Cassandra. Hmm, I wouldn't peg you as a Cassandra, but never mind. I'm Aristophanes, and this man is Evripides. Oh, go on, introduce yourself. I'm Evripides. For a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old Evripides likes to say. Don't you, Evripides? When I need to relax, I start a fight. For you, though. Quickly! Bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. I'm only here because I'm searching for someone. And yet it gave us the distinct impression it was here to fill our wine. Let's focus on that first, shall we? I'm Pericles' new servant. I'd be happy to bring some wine. An Athenian servant? You. And these are wine-pouring muscles. I was a rower on Pericles' ship where he took pity on me. Now I pour wine for people who question my word. And his. I, I wasn't questioning. I... perhaps one drink. <laughs> Why don't you just apologize to Sophocles? It's he who should apologize to you. 
Sophocles is a friend, and one good friend is worth an entire family. He just needs time to recover from his outburst. Pericles has invited all of you here for some reason. Either we dine here and praise Pericles, or we dine with Cleon. But Cleon has all the charm of a typical politician. A horrible voice, bad breeding, and vulgar manners. Let's conjure Dionysos, shall we? This... this is pure swill! Amateur. In my day, this would be considered nectar of the gods. Another round! Ready for more? Yeah, I can hardly stomach this pig's piece. I could outdrink both of you with one hand. Let's have some more. You ready for another? Wine is terrible. You, I like you. <laughs> who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every Pidis, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she'd trust priests. Oh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'll think about it. Hippocrates in Argos. Here I come. How's every pedis? Drunk, I hope. You can stop hiding in here. Every Pidis won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. the one who agrees that knowledge is most important. I think we agreed. Her use of that knowledge couldn't be more different. Ah, you remember. Perhaps our conversation can continue. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? You have been arguing a single point all night and no one has a black eye? You have my attention. We're discussing the nature of rules. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasymachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! I've seen enough of the world to know that there are no just rulers. Even Pericles is self-servant. Is a Spartan general who brings order to his troops, thereby saving his own life self-serving? I'm not sure that's the case. Ruling a city and fighting in battle are different things. By practicing the art of war, doesn't the general guarantee some of his troops a ferry ride to Hades, when a swift retreat would save all their lives? You just said a general isn't self-serving when he brings order to his troops. Then you said he is self-serving because retreating would save the lives of his men? What are you trying to say? I never tried to say anything. 
But you just said those things. I said the words, but I didn't say anything at all. I only attempted to gain your view on the matter. You're wasting your time. Aspasia. I couldn't help but notice your talent for debate. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him, and Cassandra can help. Everyone listens when she talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Cassandra will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. Your spies have been watching me. I knew you people couldn't be trusted. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. These may be the nicest clothes I've ever worn, but I feel a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now, and do it discreetly. I've been searching for a woman named Mirimi, my mother. I think she may be in danger, and my search brought me here. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests. Cassandra! I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Aspasia told me to come find you. She wants you to come down to the party. Uh, she says I don't interact with our guests enough. But these parties aren't for me. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erodos and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> Phidias was awaiting trial, but you had me get him out of Athens. I figured you, of all people, would want to follow the law. Phidias is a very dear friend. I didn't want to risk him being found guilty. And, of course, there were other threats. So you knew? I know he's delusional, but... One day, when you have a friend you'd do anything for, you'll understand. 
I don't understand why you had Anaxagoras ostracized. Socrates said he was your friend. I won't risk the lives of those close to me if there's something I can do about it. So you did this to protect him? Anaxagoras understood my fears. Ten years may be a long time, but at least he'll be safe. Why send him a Diochos to the fishing district if it's dangerous? I would never have sent him into danger willingly. It seems you have many loyal friends. My people are important to me. Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Herodotus was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming, and they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to her, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm... ...related to one of the cult members. And I believe him when he says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know, regardless. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. You look tired. Only of conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need a weapon after all. Are you leaving? I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? There's a woman on the island of Chaos that I need to meet. I think I'll head there first. I've heard there are pirates there. I'll be sure to be careful. Good. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye, Cassandra! Look, you insignificant peon! Tell me where he is, or by Ira I'll burn this clinic to the ground with you in it! I already told you what I know! I don't ask much. Hippocrates must show humility to ensure public order, prostrate himself before the gods and declare that his skills are gods given. But that won't help his patients. It'll just take him away from his work. If Hippocrates thinks he can disrupt social order to make himself into a demigod of healing, well, perhaps the gods themselves will have their revenge. Back away from the boy, slowly. Who dares threaten the priestess of Ira? Me. Now, step back. It seems the gods wish me to grant you and your master another chance. Very well. Tell Hippocrates that if he doesn't make a public show of respect to the gods, I will raise an army of believers against him. If the doctor can't think of a suitable offering, his head will do. Oh, thank all the gods she's gone. I thought she was going to kill me this time. What's going on? I am Sostratos. Croesus has accused my master Hippocrates of impiety. Is he impious? He believes that beyond praying, people can take their health into their own hands and make themselves well. Fascinating. Can I speak with him? I'm sorry, he isn't here. I need to meet Hippocrates. Is he in Argolis, at least? Yes, 
but he's gone southeast of Hera's watch to help the sick and injured. Is this his workshop? It's Hippocrates' clinic. Here we study healing, offer treatments, and provide care to anyone who asks. Why not work with the priests in the sanctuary of Asclepios? It's what this region is known for, right? The priests try their best, but their methods are stuck in the past. Hippocrates is researching new cures and treatments. I'll find him. If you're going to meet Hippocrates, could I trouble you with a small errand? Depends what it is. I want you to bring him some equipment. He was in such a hurry, he left it behind. What kind of equipment? They're just medical necessities. Knives and gut for sutures, bandages. Oh, and uh, an enema bag for clearing the bowels. That had better be properly wrapped. I could bring that to Hippocrates. Really? My services don't come free. Here, take this. Though perhaps Hippocrates can teach you something about helping those in need when you speak with him. How will I know who I'm looking for? Head southeast of Hera's watch, near the cave of Pan. He'll be standing before a long line of sick people. You'll know him by his, um, bald spot, though I wouldn't mention it. So, what has caused this man's condition? An excess of phlegm, Doctor. In the immediate sense, yes. But more importantly, he suffers from neglect. Neglect? Good food, warm clothing, so much could have helped. But since other caretakers assumed his condition was a punishment from the gods, they neglected him. Challenging tradition. You must be Hippocrates. Yes, I'm also very busy. This will only take a moment. I won't keep you away from your patients and your students. Observation, experience, and experimentation are crucial for treatment. My followers are learning that. I've come from your clinic in Argos. Sostratos asked me to give you this. I knew I forgot some things. Sostratos is a good physician, but a better apprentice there is none. Did you ask him to pay you for this delivery? Of course I did. I'm a Mystios. Ungenerous, but honest at least. What can I call you, Mystios? Cassandra of Sparta. What did you come here for, Cassandra of Sparta? I've been searching for a Spartan woman. What makes you think I would know her? I was told you may have helped her a long time ago. Maybe the priests at the sanctuary of Asclepios can help. They keep detailed records of all who pass through. Please, Hippocrates, I came very far to meet you. As did this patient, and the one before him, and the one before her. My patients need me, but my notes on diseases of the mind were taken. Retrieve them, and I will help you find what you seek. Hurry, this patient doesn't have much time left. According to Sostratos, you don't like people mentioning your... you know. My what? Your hair. Or lack of it. Yes, yes. Make your jokes while walking around like one of Phidias' sculptures come to life. Did Chrysis take your notes? Ah, you've met the priestess. No, not her, but the local military commander. I can't fault his desperation. Those men suffered terribly from battle fatigue. She would have come here a long time ago with an injured baby. Are you sure she would have passed through the sanctuary of Asclepios? I was a young man then. When I encountered a situation beyond my skills, I would send the patient to the sanctuary. And these priests keep records of their patients? Yes, engraved in stone. The elder priest might remember. What was so interesting about these notes? They were my notes about diseases of the mind, including what the priests call the sacred disease. That's what this patient has. He's losing control of his limbs and throat, sometimes frothing at the mouth. I fear his breathing will stop next. I'll do my best with what you've told me. Good luck. We're depending on you. Should be careful. 
Why is security here? What are you doing here? Hippocrates sent me. Your commander stole his notes, and I think you have them. The ones written by the great Hippocrates himself. I'm sorry. They were burned in the last attack. What? You heard me. The medical tent was burned. At least I memorized the notes before we lost them. Now transcribe them when I have time, or when the war subsides. Then you'll have to come with me. A patient Hippocrates is treating will die without your help. I have a patient right here who needs my help. Can't someone else take care of this one? I'm the only doctor here. Now let me work. I'll wait here for you to finish. If I leave, what's stopping you from running away? Thinking like a mercenary. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Then make yourself useful and bring me my bone forceps. Some idiot or another's always borrowing them. Then you'll come treat Hippocrates' patient? You have my word. I'll go get your bone forceps.
forceps should be in there. Once I deliver these, we can get back to Hippocrates. These are the forceps he wanted. It? You want a half bad assistant? When I'm done with the surgery, I'll be honored to help Hippocrates. Might be limping for a while, but Apollo willing, they'll make a full recovery. I'll meet you there. Don't be late. How's your patient? Poor. Dimas? What are you doing here? When I told old Dimas here you were in need, I could barely hold him back. That's just the effect the great doctor has on us healers. Uh, there was a fire, your notes were lost, but I'm here to help. I can always use another set of hands. He'll live. If we're finished here, I'll take some time and write down what I remember of your notes, Hippocrates. I'll go see the priests for more information about my mother. Come with me. You've had a busy day. The importance of diet to maintaining one's health cannot be overstated. What good can one apple really do? <laughs> well, taken daily, they can keep the doctor away. But... Two more serious matters. I know why you're here. You're looking for your mother. You remember her? I was young then. I didn't know how to help. I turned her away. But her look of determination and despair was burned into my mind. It has never left me, and it never will. After, I swore to Apollo that I wouldn't turn away another patient, that I'd dedicate my life to the cause. She made an impression on me. Your brave mother did. She would be happy to know that. I sent your mother to the sanctuary of Asclepios. Tell the elder priest a treatment for the sacred disease will soon be available to any patient who needs it. Then he may talk to you. Thank you for everything, Hippocrates. I'll go see him now. If you're here for your purification bath, You'll have to come back another time. I'm here for information. In that case, you can go straight to Hades. I need to know about a Spartan woman who came through here many years ago. Did that eagle of yours shit in your ears? I'm under strict orders not to talk to any mercenaries. Especially not about Spartan women or injured babies. I never mentioned the baby. Think you're so smart? Many women pass through with babies. Now leave me. I have my own problems to deal with. Maybe I can help you. Snakes! Snakes. They're everywhere. Must have escaped from the Tholos. We keep them for treatments, but they invaded the bathhouse. 
The snakes killed someone. A patient was purifying himself when they slithered in. Turns out he's terrified of snakes. Fell over dead. Now the snakes have made him their home. What if I took care of your snake problem? Would you talk to me then? Oh, most definitely. The purification bath is crucial in the path towards healing. What does taking a bath have to do with healing the sick? Asclepios only visits the dreams of the pure. When the sick arrive, they offer sacrifice, cleanse their bodies in the bathhouse. Only then do we let them rest in the Abaddon, where Asclepios appears and heals them. How did all these snakes get loose? And why are there so many at the sanctuary? Blame Dorios. He's supposed to keep them in the Tholos. Patients with afflictions of the mind are healed by the snakes. Their tongues are like kisses from the gods. I'll clear out these snakes in no time. Icaros could use a good feast. Try not to kill them. Dorios will be furious if you sacred snakes get chopped to beats. Then how am I supposed to deal with them? Snakes are drawn to the bath's heat. Flood them with cold water and they'll slither back to their hole. There's an underground pipe that may help you. I'll take care of your snake problem. Then you'll tell me what I need to know. That's the pipe. Opening it should flood the bath and get rid of the snakes. And? Is the bathhouse free of snakes? I flooded the bathhouse with cold water. Good riddance! Well? Well what? I took care of the snakes. Now you're going to tell me about the Spartan woman and the baby. <laughs> I actually don't know anything. It was before my time. The man who does know is Mithun, but he won't tell you. He won't tell anyone anything. <laughs> <laughs> I like your snakes. At least I got a name. Miva. Greetings, young one. Come to offer us Clipios a sacrifice? No. But I'm searching for a Spartan mother who may have. The great goddess Ira guides many mothers to the sacred place. Surely I'm too feeble to remember them all. What are these stone slabs for? These are uh, records. We document all who pass through, uh, their illnesses, treatments, so that the glory of Asclepios can be celebrated. Then I don't need your memory. I just need to find the right stone. Um, yes, of course. That's very wise indeed. If only I had the time to help you. Listen, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm just looking for my mother. It's Chrysis. She's got every priest in the sanctuary under her thumb, and she'll squash anyone who feeds information to the eagle bearer. Then don't tell me anything. Just... Bring me to the stone that can. Follow me then. Quickly. We must be discreet. Lead the way. This way. Over here. If anyone is watching, they'll have my head. What kind of sanctuary isn't safe for its priests? Times have changed, Eagle Bear. Ah, I remember this tale. Written during the time of the great Elod Revolt. You would have been only a child. I don't need the history, just the details. It tells the tale of a woman 
with worms in her throat. Asclepios took off her head so we could remove them, then reattached it in her sleep. Definitely not the right one. I wonder what Hippocrates would think of these treatments. Hippocrates is a fine healer. Showed so much promise. Showed? He's healing the sick right now. He puts too much faith in his hands and not enough in the gods. When it comes to life and death, I prefer hands. Are all the testimonies so outrageous? Writers today, Thucydides, Evripides, the petulant Aristophanes, all of them try for realism. But what really inspires is greatness, magic, gods. Do we have a problem? This one tells the tale of a man with sword wounds. A pack of dogs licked him clean, and Eureka, a man's best friend indeed. This is hopeless. These stories give people hope, even better. Well, I'm losing mine. Tell me about Chrysis. A very powerful, dangerous woman. She was abandoned here as a child and taken in by the priests. She taught the ways of the gods. She learned uh, very quickly. It was very strong-willed. And uh, before too long, it was the priests who listened to her. She was loved, but there's an anger in her heart that could not be soothed. So, when her methods turned to madness, Anyone who opposed her got... Got what? I've already said too much. And what about this one? Let me guess. It tells the tale of a blind woman who had her eyes licked by snakes. It reads... Of Sparta. Came here with child. Sought pity from the gods. Why is most of it scratched out? Oh, uh, I'm... I'll just tell you. I know this one by heart. The Spartan woman arrived filthy and bleeding from her travels. We cared for her, gave her food, a bath, and she left. Where she went, I do not know. The child could not be saved. Who does know where she went? We've been spotted. Meet me later, near the olive tree of Heracles at the entrance of the sanctuary. I may have something for you. And what do we have here? A priest and a mercenary out for a friendly stroll? May the gods be with you, Plistos. I was just on my way to the archives when this Mystheus bumped into me. Is that so? And what were you both chatting about so fervently, might I ask? I'm filthy and could use a good bath. The kind priest here was pointing me in the direction of the bathhouse. Um, yes, that's correct. The bathhouse is right over there. Now, if you'll excuse me. The baths are for healing the sick, not for washing the blood off one's hands. Leave. That old priest, hiding by the tree. I thank you for your discretion, Eagle Bearer. Chrysis has many eyes and ears throughout the sanctuary. What else can you tell me about the Spartan woman and child? The woman left the child's blanket behind. We tried to return it, but it was too painful a memory for her. Where did she go? What happened to the child? So, Chrysis was right. You knew the rules, Timoxenos. You will suffer her wrath. Please, Tos. Please! Get behind me, priest. I'll deal with these two. Got you!
Must Clipios be praised? May the sick find peace. May Asclepio spare her from suffering. Will she live? Not unless the gods heed our prayers. Many sick Athenians have arrived in Argolis recently, and very few have left. This poor girl has the same sickness. I'm looking for information about a Spartan woman who came through here. I was warned about an eagle bearer. A ruthless killer, she was called. Do you think it's wise to deny a ruthless killer the information she desires? Healing the sick is my path. Help me get the attention of the gods, and I tell you what I can. What are you asking, exactly? Her illness seems to have no cure, and it's spreading. Our sacrifices have done little to draw the attention of the gods. Pigs, goats, all have fallen on deaf ears. We need a beast whose blood will ignite these flames for Asclepios to see. What did you have in mind? There is a rumor of a bull with skin as white as snow roaming the sanctuary outskirts. Head west of here, towards the coast. Bring it to me alive, and we'll offer a sacrifice the gods cannot ignore. The outskirts are vast. Can you be more specific about the location of the bull? Last I heard, it was grazing on Mount Corifam, near the Asini ruins. If you're just going to slit its throat, why do you need the bull alive? <laughs> but we're not just going to slit its throat. First, we pour water on its head. If it nods, we may proceed. Gods, mortals, and animals, all must be willing participants in a sacrifice, or it is impure. To save this many people, we will need the beast's blood, bones, and fat. Tell me about Chrysis. She has everyone terrified. We taught her everything we knew about healing, about the gods. Then she found new teachers, people in masks. They changed her, turned her heart black. They became her gods. I'll find this bull for you. I should watch my step around here. Like he died willingly. I'll take his heart for the sacrifice. It'll have to do. Now's our chance! Go! Not the best feeling. Did you find the white bull? I couldn't bring it back alive. But I did manage to collect its heart. This won't be enough to please Asclepios. The beast died unwillingly, and with just the heart, we'll only be able to pray for one life. Please, Mythios. The white bull you killed was mine. My farm feeds half of Arulis. If I die, people will starve. I beg you! My husband was killed by this sickness. I have two small children. Who will take care of them if I die? I am wealthy and will pay you for this blessing. <coughs> it's okay. Give the sacrifice to them. You did this. You choose whose prayers get heard by the gods. I know what it's like to be small and forsaken. Pray for the girl. You regret this! <laughs> Not an easy choice, Mistios, but it's been made. The rest is in the hands of the gods. I did my part, priest. The Spartan woman you're after. You've met her? 
a visit to the sanctuary is legendary, but sadly, it was before my time. The man you want is Midon, the elder priest. He spoke of her often, that is, before he cut out his tongue. Cut out his tongue? When he's not healing the sick, he's in the guest house. Spends a lot of time being tended to by the servants. Thank you. I won't forget you helped me. And these people won't forget you helped them. They're dead. And you must be Midon. He doesn't speak. So I've heard. I'm here to find out why. Chrysis did this to him. Uh -huh. I thought he did this to himself. To prove his loyalty to her. Now, why would Chrysis want an elder priest to cut out his tongue? Midon is a caring, generous man. I want answers from him, not you. Tell me about the Spartan woman and her baby. He can only answer yes or no. The Spartan woman, was her name Mirini? They said she had a baby with her. Was it hers? The baby was close to death when they arrived. Midon prayed for its life. You saved the child. No. He did everything he could, but the baby was badly wounded. Did she tell you where she was going? Do all sanctuary priests take their servants to bed? I am not his servant. We share a sacred bond. A sacred? Right. I know why Chrysis made you cut out your tongue. The night my mother brought my brother here, you and your priests left him for dead. And Chrysis didn't like you telling the story. That's not what happened! What do you know? You're too young to have been there. He told me the story many times before that witch stole his voice. He tried to save the baby, did everything he could. I don't believe you. Dead. How can my baby be dead? I don't know what to tell you. You were lucky he survived as long as he did. That, that fall was devastating. <laughs> my baby. My baby. <laughs> Listen, there's nothing we can do for you anymore. You'd best be on your way. Ray is here. <laughs> They're gone. They're both gone. wept for that Spartan woman so far from home, her baby barely recognizable, hardly breathing. Tell me, please. I need to know. Not even Apollo could save the child. Midon told me how the Spartan woman wept, held the baby in her arms, sang to him, before finally leaving him to the gods. Chrysis took the baby, didn't she? And she made you cut out your tongue to hide the truth. Where is Chrysis? There is an altar where people offer their sick babies to be healed. This is where she took the child. Find it near the statue of Apollo Maleatas and you'll find Chrysis. People come to this sanctuary to heal. But I come here and find people dying without hope, priests without tongues, and babies left with an insane woman. <laughs> My mother was a fool to trust any of you. I'm going to find Chrysis, and she's going to pay for what she's done. Hmm? 
There's the statue of Apollo and the altar. Rhesus will find a lot more than a helpless infant waiting for her. A warning. I must be getting close. seems to run in your bloodline, almighty oh eagle bearer. Don't you dare speak of my family, snake. I still remember the night your mother brought me my child. The sad, pathetic thing, crying in the rain. Had I known then that Mirini had two children. But here you are. My family is complete. You let my mother believe her baby was dead. But he was. Oh, how she wept when his little heart stopped beating. But then I took care of him. Placed him on this very altar. Screamed for the gods to spare his life. And they listened. What did you do with my brother? I saved his life. By teaching him to suffer. To know pain so well that he would learn to welcome it like an old friend. And now he will teach all of the Greek world to know that pain. You tortured him? He was just a baby! I taught him to survive. This world is cruel. It demands strength or death. So I gave him strength. Where did my mother go that night? That weakling crawled to the hills of Corinth. The monger was supposed to deliver her back to me, but she can't hide forever. She will give us more children. I'll run my spear through your throat for the pain you've caused. <laughs> this world is pain. I gave the most strength to cope. Your mother was a weakling who whined to the gods like a pig on an altar. I am more a mother to her child than she will ever be. I can be a mother to you too, Eagle Bearer. This goes beyond my family. You and your cult are going to destroy the Greek world. You bring nothing but suffering. You talk of suffering and yet you come drenched in blood and threaten my life. You are a killer, just like your brother. Here, let me show you. This baby is yours? He was dying. Chrysis had me bring a gift to Ira so that he might be protected. Chrysis lit the temple on fire with the boy and me inside. Chrysis is a servant of Ira. She does what needs to be done. What needs to be done? She left your baby to burn alive. And you saved him. Gods bless you, Eagle Bearer. Sleep now, sweet child. Mater is here. I'm not sure saving that baby was the right thing to do. Chrysis's reign of terror must end. If what Chrysis said was true, Mirini believes my brother died long ago. I can't let Chrysis walk free. I'll kill that Malaga. I'm looking for Anthusa. Is she here? Wouldn't I like to know? Sunrise, sunset, I save my drachmi for the taste of the divine. The terra are hard to come by. So you haven't seen them? Not with the monger's army on the loose. The terra won't tolerate that. Are you Anthusa? Me? Anthusa? I could be anyone for you, lamb. I charge less than the Aethera. But do I ever know my way around the hay bed? So her name means something to you? Anthusa? She's been around forever, but I never met her. I know the Aethera all work as one, on equal footing. But Anthusa's special. She talks, they listen. I haven't met any Aethera yet. Don't believe all you hear. They sell what a lot of us sell in Corinth. 
But for them, it's not just about the flesh. They're merchants of a sort, streetwise. Can talk as nice as they look. Sounds like a good trade to work in. You don't want to be an Etera? Not in my prime anymore, am I, Miss Dios? By the time I study what they did, I'll be serving clients on my deathbed. If the Etera aren't here, where are they? Their swords are too high and mighty to be down here in the dirt with us. You want them, you'll find them upon the hill. The Acrocorinth. By the temple, keeping Aphrodite's worshippers satisfied. Temple on top of the Acrocorinth. That's what I'm looking for. Who do they think they are? I need to stop them. temple is dedicated to them, the brutes. The thieves are here and the Etera aren't. The Etera? <laughs> They're much wiser than we are. They realize their visitors were all getting robbed on the way in. There's no avoiding the mongers' men in Corinth. <laughs> Who walks around with a name like the monger? Don't let him hear you say that. Last time his name came out of a fool's mouth, the man's tongue was sliced out. So the monger is a Corinthian criminal? Master of the underground markets. He rules with one hand open for money and the other clenched around a weapon. A drachmi and blood-hungry monsters what he is. So he's hunting the Etera for money? Exactly. Since the Etera bring in so much drachmi, he wants everything they control. The thieves are better off robbing them than us. If you know of the Etera, then you know of Anthusa. I'm looking for her. They say she's everywhere. Though I've never seen her. But the Etera see everything. I've seen them gather by the spring of Pirene down the mountain. They meet clients there and then take them elsewhere in secret. Good. Maybe pray to Aphrodite from home next time. It shouldn't be long. Ah, so Cassandra has finally found us. You know me? And you know her. This is Anthusa. We saw you help the worshippers at the temple of Aphrodite. You've proven yourself a friend. Hear that, Icarus? Her sight's as good as yours. Someone also spoke very highly of you. Surprise! Phoebe! Aspasia sent me. I work for her now, remember? But why here? Corinth isn't safe. I had to tell Anthusa you were coming. Aspasia taught me a new word, emissari. That's me. And now Cassandra and I have met. See? This is easy. And now I can help you. I guess that would be all right. Who knows what I'll get into. Yes! Just make sure you're extra careful. We need to move inside, Cassandra. We're not the only ones watching. Come with me, and we'll talk. Can I come? As long as you're quiet. To what do I owe your visit? Alcibiades told me about you. <laughs> Did he? Go on. I'm looking for a woman from Sparta. A runaway. Long ago. She may have gone by the name of Mirini. Who's that? She's my mother. Your mother? You don't have a mother. Marcos told me he raised you. What did I tell you about talking? I see. There will be time to respond to your question, but that time isn't now. As long as you tell me what you know, sooner or later, you'll have to trust me. 
You don't get to where I stand without credibility. My word is yours. And you can always trust Cassandra. Why don't you go play, Phoebe? Let me and Anthusa talk. If you say so... I propose a trade. Help me. Help us get stronger. Strong enough to rid Corinth of the monger permanently. A simple transaction, I assure you. You have a deal. A wise decision, dear Mystios. I haven't made it this far being a fool. I know when to take a chance. Then we're in business. Now, you've heard of the monger? I heard about him after I killed his men. <laughs> Seems he's famous in Corinth. For all the wrong reasons. His knife has shed much Corinthian blood. But that's just the way of commerce. The blood between us is bad. Then you've held your ground well. You're not dead. Not yet, anyway. But he's employed enough thugs to amass a small army. Now they're attacking people in the street. Us included. He's been killing a Terra? Killing? We're smarter than that. But action must be taken before it goes that far. I'm not the only one who needs help. My girls, Damalis and Irina, are suffering too. More monger trouble? I wouldn't doubt it. Work against their aggressors, and then it will be his turn to suffer. You'll find the Malis here at the spring, but Irina has gone to Bellerophron's garden. What's wrong with Irina? She's looking for Cleo, another Etera, who's gone missing. I've been too distracted to help in the search. Has the Malis told you what's wrong? She hasn't told me much, but I know these girls as well as I know myself. Something's not right. I'll see what I can do for them. Good. The monger feeds his thugs. With a drachmi, he makes smuggling. Weapons, mostly. Which is all the more lucrative now that he has a war to supply. So, if someone interrupts the monger's supply, his men go hungry. Exactly. Go to his warehouse in the port of Lecheo and burn his cargo. All of it. We'll let chaos take care of the rest. Why rob people who can't put two drachmi together if he has a business? It's illegitimate, but gets him rich. Even the smuggling is a front. He steals slaves, innocents, who shouldn't be harmed, but his thugs can burn. Seems to me that burning his biggest source of income is asking for trouble. I want to put the new muscle I've acquired on show. Plus, violence is the only language he understands. I know many people who speak that language. Then the warehouse will be cinders. So you're here to help us, Mystios? You don't look like a monger spy. I'm more the in-your-face type. You have a monger problem, Damalis? I might. One of my regulars has changed. He was a decent man once, but now he's gone bad. Corinth seems to have a shortage of decent people. I need someone with muscle to figure out what's behind the change. Why he's different. He's gotten you scared. He asks me questions I don't know the answers to about our Drachmi. Where we keep money, what Anthusa invests in. As though we're Athenian aristocrats. Can't Anthusa intervene? I'm not naive. I won't expose the others to this, so he can go after them next. He might anyway. Sounds like he needs answers. Who was he before all this? Obsessive, but never threatening. He didn't stand out in symposiums until he had his drachmi act for him. Well, something's sure giving him courage now. I'll see what he has to say for himself. If he's not lurking around here, he'll be at his house. I want this to end today. It will. People tend to show their true selves to my spear, whether they like it or not. Good, you found me! Shh! What are you doing here? I heard the Malis talking about her crazy client earlier, and I wanted to help. You may be right. I could use you. See? That was my plan all along. I'm going to talk to Damalis' client and see what he has to say. I've been here, spying, and I heard him mumbling to himself. 
he's weird. But maybe if I tell you what he said, it could help? Let's hear it. Let me think. Um, he said something about having to meet someone at Faye's pig farm tonight. That could help. It could. Did he mention why? To get something from them. A deed to some land, I think he said. Well, that's something. What else? Oh, he said their name. Dinomenes. Wonder who that is. Good to know. Thank you, Phoebe the spy. Not bad, huh? Time to act. Listen closely. You sneak inside and see what you can find in his house while I distract him. Quiet like a mouse. Good. But if you get caught, run. Right out the door. We'll meet afterwards. Promise? I'm ready. Let's go. Do I know you? No, but I know you. If Miron sent you, tell him I was going to pay him back this very night. No one sent me. We need to talk. I know you're up to something. Something? Something could be anything. You have nothing on me. You're going to Fair's pig farm. And meeting some like-minded person there, I hear. Where did you hear that? You're wrong. Dead wrong. They owe you a deed to some land. What that land will be used for, I don't know. A spy? What else do you have on me? Cough it up! The Nomenis will be quite upset if I don't let you meet him tonight. How? What do you want? I know about the Malis. And as her client, you seem to think she owes you something. I do love her, you know? With my whole heart. And yet, you're scaring her. Better me than another more careless man. Either I hurt the Malis or I'm killed. That's not love. It's weakness. You say it as though I don't know. He knew that too. That's why he's making me. Who's making you? Tell the Mollys I'll stop. That I'm sorry. Fine. Here, old man. Ah. Let's see what we found. I wonder what this means. What's this? A coin purse? His things aren't very nice, though. If he's rich, why have all that junk? He must have just gotten paid. I've seen that iron poker used before. He didn't have a furnace. Why does he have this? It's not used for fire. It's a weapon. For torture. I saw someone use it in Fokis. Someone huge. Huge like the monger? Just like the monger. What does the letter say? It's mean. It says he'll get hurt if he keeps doing things wrong. Yeah, I thought as much. And it says more. That he needs to bring the Malis to a place here in Corinth. There's directions. What do you think it is? Don't know. But I'll find out. Right behind you. Not this time. Go to the Malis and wait for me there. Oh, please. You've done enough for today. It could be dangerous. I'll come find you after. Fine. Oh, I, I almost forgot. I got the sword from you from his house. Wow. You're a good thief. Place to bring the Malis. A prison? I should find out. in the letter. Anybody home?
It's blood. Lots of it. I think it is. Malaka, what is this? A lock of hair. It smells familiar somehow. Gotcha! All right, you little shit. Who sent you? doing here? I wanted to help. Give her here. Leave, Phoebe. Now! Don't take another step. You're brave coming here. You want a whipping? The monger would love to take you on. He'd rot in the underworld for that. Prude, this is Corinthia. Anything goes in this sex, Andron, and the monger will be satiated. You're as sick as he is, worm. Whether they like it or not, any victim he likes gets his special treatment. I'll tell him you volunteer. You'll get my special treatment right now. I'll fucking kill you. Cassandra, your little friend beat you back. You made it. And fast. I know all the shortcuts now. I'm sorry, Cassandra. Listen next time I tell you to do something. Okay. I promise it's for your own good. This time especially. What happened to you? I just left the monger sex, Andron, if you can believe it. And it's where you were headed. No. It's true. Your client was being forced to take you there. And we found these. What does this mean? It means the monger got to him. He does have his hand in everything. At least I know how to deal with him now that I know what he's after. He'll leave you alone now. He gave me his word. So, we really can trust you, can't we? We're not all so easily blackmailed. By Aphrodite. Cleo better get back here soon. Why call on the gods when you have one of their messengers at your service? How did you know I needed help? Anthusa told me you could use a hand. Cleo, one of our girls, didn't meet me for prayer this morning. She wasn't at home either. I'd go investigate, but I'm not sure what I could do on my own. She might have been taken. I asked around. One of our clients said he saw Cleo brought aboard the ship. The men were armed, so there was nothing he could do. I'd pay a lot of drachmi to get her back. Armed? Take me to the ship. We'll get Cleo back. Hey, follow me. Who do you think took her? It wouldn't be the first time the monger's men came after one of us. None of us have ever disappeared like this before. Some are worried they'll be taken next. Corinth may have a bad reputation, but it wasn't always that way. We used to be safe. Until the monger. We're not sure why he came here, but Corinth is worse off because of him. There. That's the boat our client described. Please, get me back. Join me! Prepare to pour the maggots! Stay back. I'm here to rescue you. Rescue me? 
You sunk my boat, pirate. Put the knife away. I'm a friend. What do you mean? Your friend Erina hired me to save you from these men and bring you back. Erina? I commissioned that ship to steal me away from Corinth. You're escaping? From what? You have no idea what the monger does to people. The things I've seen, no one in Corinth is safe. Erina thought you were abducted. She clearly cares about you. If she cared about me, she'd let me go. Even Anthusa can't keep us safe anymore. She clearly disagrees. Mistios, please. We were heading to Mykonos, which is safe. If you'll take me there, I can pay you the toll I would have paid my crew. All right, I'll get you there. Next time my crew docks at Mykonos, you can depart. In the meantime, welcome aboard. Thank you, Mistios. This is what's best, I promise. Oh. You've more than made up for killing my abductors, Mistios. Thank you. Do me a favor, and tell your friends the truth next time. I'll consider it. Put my coins to good use and wish me luck. Good luck. This is the place. Time to burn some cargo. Just like you. Please, help. I'll not forget this, Mistios. Never.